Praise the Lord, everybody. Today is the first of the month of the month, and we want to look at Proverbs chapter one. As we said, a proverb a day keeps the devil at bay. I want to look at this verse here in verses 10. The Bible says, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Not to give consent, not to give in, not to give permission, not to come into agreement with. I remember many times, whether it was towards me or me dishing it out, trying to get someone to do something perhaps that they did not want to do against their own will. And we even see that today uh, in our world, again, it's constantly a pull, whether it's living for God or not living for God. Um, you may remember growing up, you may have made up in your mind today, I'm not going out, I'm not doing this, or I'm not going to do that. And uh, uh, perhaps you may have flipped around the other way and was that same way and didn't feel like doing anything or uh, didn't feel like going out that night, but somehow, some way you went anyway against your own consent. And peer pressure as a youth or, or as a teen, there's a constant pull and there's a constant pull even now, even as adults, uh, every day, as long as we have breath in our body, there will always be a pull to pull you back into the world. Uh, the Bible refers to again about the flesh. And, and so there's always going to be a constant pull of our flesh also. And so it's so important for us to live in the spirit so we won't obey the dictates of the flesh. Whether it's friends or whether it's family and media, we always, there's a constant pull at you and I. And so we have to give consent to it. It's up to you and I, whether we're going to give in or not give in. And so temptation can come in many ways or, or giving consent to many things in many ways. You can give consent to be depressed. You have to give a consent to it. You can give a consent to being bitter or feeling uh, uh, down or whatever the case may be. There are many ways in which you can easily be enticed to pull in by the dictates of your mind and your heart and your soul, our surrounding areas. And so we have to give in to consent to it. And so think about Lucifer when he tempted uh, Adam and Eve and they gave consent to it. They obeyed. And no doubt we see the fall of man as we speak. But thank God for the second Adam, Jesus Christ. He didn't play. He rebuked the devil with the word of God. He rebuked him with, with standing firm and being in the spirit is what helped him not give in or give consent to the devil. The Bible tells in Second Peter 2, 9, he says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. So if you find yourself in a predicament, God will always give you a way of escape. You have to have willpower. You have to have that desire also not to give in. He always gives us a way of escape. In 1 Corinthians uh, 10, 12 through 13, the Bible says, wherefore, let him think that he stand, take he lest he's fall. And so with that being said, we also have to walk humbly and, you know, and say, you know, what? we can't walk around with our chest stuck out either because, again, we have to, by God's grace, live daily. The Bible says there hath no temptation taken you, but such as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. He says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So God, with his love, by God, by his grace, he will always seem to open up a door. Things just don't happen uh, immediately. There's always a way to say no. And you have the power to say no. You have the, the ability to say no. And you have the power to ex resist. Thank God for his Holy Spirit today. And so we, we only reason why we give in is we've drawn away. As James told us in 1, uh, 12 through 16, he says, Blessed is the man that endure temptation. But when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So that if you... If you pass the test, you'll receive a crown of life. There's another blessing that comes, a reward in heaven, if you please, that God will show unto you. So we have to, we have to, there's a reward in saying no. There's a reward in resisting the devil. The Bible says in 13, it says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted to God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. So it's up to us down in the heart. We have to make up that choice. We have to make that decision. You know what? Am I going to give consent or am I going to give consent? He, verse 15, James 1, 15, he says, Then when lust can have conceit, it bringeth forth sin. And when sin is, it is finished, bring it forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren, verse 16. And so he began to give us warning. James, the, the writer, uh, gave us this warning. He says, don't fall into the errors. Don't fall into the temptation. Don't fall for the trap in which our enemy has for us. The Bible says in Hebrews 4, 14, seeing then we have a great high priest. So we have an example. We have an example through Jesus Christ. As we mentioned, he was able to rebuke the devil. The Bible says we have this great high priest. He is our high priest that he passed into the heavens. Jesus, the son of God, let us hold.
hold fast our profession. So you have to be willing to hold on. Hold on. Yes, we could have easily walked away years ago. We could have easily given in. Every day, you make that choice. You are free more angels. God's gonna, I'm not going to make you a robot. He's gonna, not going to make you uh, serve him. We make up that choice every day. And so he says, but you have to hold fast to it. You have to hold on to those hands. That hold on to the word of God. Hold on to this gift of salvation. The Bible says, verse 15, says, for when... For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. And so the Bible began to tell us he was tempted just like you and I. Jesus was tempted, but he refused to give in. And so the same thing it is with us. We have to refuse to give in. He says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So you pray when you're facing a battle, when you're facing a challenge. Or facing a situation, you pray, pray, come boldly. God help me. God strengthen me. God help me overcome this and begin to become immune to certain things. No longer, you know, you become dead. The Bible says we dead to certain things. You're dead to certain situations. Yes, they will rise again. They will rise again. They will come at you again. But when you're dead to it, you won't easily give in consent to it. And so the Bible says, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So a proverb again is what he, Solomon wrote to no doubt his son, but also to every believer. He says that when they entice you, when things come your way and look appetizing to you, don't give consent to it. Don't give permission to it. When things try to pull you down, don't give consent to it. Again, whether it's emotionally, whether it's physically, whether it's a, a, a big sin or a little sin, whether it's anything that is against God's will for your life, don't give consent to it. You have to give permission to these things. And so we have the power to say no. Say no, but say yes to Jesus. Say yes to his word. And no doubt you will see great victory. A proverb a day keeps the devil at bay. Have an awesome day. God bless you. We'll see you soon.